Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for Let's Play Mad Games Tycoon. My name is Weasel, and today we're going to develop a language pack for Theme Hospital Sport Injuries. I'm going to bring in all the languages in the hope that at boost sales, sales are doing fairly well. Fairly well. Uh, we're automatically creating game reports in the meantime. Might as well. Might as well. And more updates. I want to keep the sales going for as long as humanly possible, since we finally have a good game there. Okay, remove you guys. We could also do a successor of one of the earlier games, I think. But yeah, another update. Then we should probably consider doing some features like the mouse driver. And other good ones. I like that we're getting all the game reports. This is going to help us tremendously in developing further games. Let's have a quick look. Uh, 520... You know what? I'm going to repay 250,000 of the credit to pay less. I'm going to repay another 250,000. Just in the hopes that I can afford that. Okay. Yeah, uh, barely. Barely. Pet Olympics, magic. Yeah, these don't cost anything. Yeah, we're making we're making enough money. Good. Good enough to make another update. I think four updates should Oh, you do not have enough money for that. Good. Uh four updates are good enough. While we research the other things. Okay, the the curve is going down after 17 weeks. We should be able to make more money. Uh keep it running longer. And do we do a trainings course? Yeah, I guess why not? Let's do a trainings course as well. Successfulness in the office. Nah. Sound effects. Curse of sound effects. That nobody's currently taking because everyone's busy. Can't blame him, I say. Okay, it seems seems to stabilize a little bit. Theme hospital has sold extremely well. We finally broke even. That's what you mean. Yes, we have. Okay, let's go ahead and research 8-bit sound. Uh, should we go on a booth? Yes, you don't have enough money. Ah, uh, bummer. Uh, I'm gonna borrow 50,000. I'm going to go on a small booth. Working on with our fans. 3,000 fans. That's good. Yeah, you, you stay like that. Well, some people at least learn something. Okay, let's see if we can hire someone who's actually competent at things. Yeah, Scotty Roger. Ooh, he's a fantastic game designer. You are hired, my friend. You are so hired. So hired. The big question is, let, let me see my staff. Let me see who's the worst. The fossil. T tell, tell me more. Who? What are you good at, fossil? Mm, you're okay at graphics, I guess. So I will keep you. This one's. What about you? Music and sound. Yeah, they have their strengths here and there. Which is fine with me. So, mm, new engine? Maybe. New. I'm gonna say new game. Cars? Cars and what? Skill games. Hmm. I like, I like skill games because I don't need to do too many things with that. This has 14 features. If we add those two, uh, we can barely, barely afford that. I'm gonna borrow a little bit of money for that. 20%. Yeah, sounds good. Let's do this. Did we research the topic cars? If not, we should definitely. Cars or cats? I don't have enough money. You're killing me! Fine. I will borrow 250,000 because I feel we'll be fine soon. Let's stay with a smaller game, B+, before we go A. It costs like 450,000 to just start this up. Uh, and if we go with our engine, we are at 450,000, which is really hard uh, with us. Okay, so... Ah, Skill-based games! From what I know, children and adults like them. Uh, let's let's do something with a, with kids. Topics are cars? Where are they? Cars. And a good subgenre for skill is probably puzzles. Skill and puzzle. Yeah, that works together. Cars. Uh, how about hemorrhoid rage? I think it's written like this. Hemorrhoid hemorrhoid rage. I like that. I don't I don't know what it has to do with cars. I was thinking of road rage, but then I came to hemorrhoid rage. Close enough. Close enough. Okay, platforms, we're gonna go with the standards. Anything that has a higher percentage. And I think with this, we've covered most of the market. And we already have an idea how this has to be set. Let's look at game reports. Did we have another skill game? Skillful Stones, which did really well. And yeah, th those were perfect settings. I guess, should move it over here. And then we have 10, 10, 30, 50. Good, 10, 10, 30, 50. We're gonna keep that in mind. This. Uh, 10, 10, 30, 50. Good. 
and five languages. We'll have to remove a feature. Yes, sprites. No sprites for anyone. Let's take a loan. How much do we have? 225,000. So I'm gonna need a little bit extra. 570. And that's gonna be fine. Improve gameplay. Whip those two on there. And it's probably a good idea to also research something like controls, but I don't have the money for that. Oh well. It, it'll be fine. Not to worry about anything. This is gonna this is gonna be our big title. Once Theme Hospital Sport Injuries is off the market, this is where it's at. Wow, music is absolutely abysmal in this game. Yes, this is the price we pay. That's what we set the focus on. Uh, not publishing the game right now. We're gonna need to get rid of the box first. Mad Game Awards! Luckily, we're not the worst game of the year. I'm fairly happy about that. All right, bugs are squashed. Oops, so let's go ahead and release the game. Yes, Hemorrhoid Rage. It's all the rage. And if you have hemorrhoids, you'll you'll be raging, I assume. I guess we're gonna go with Blue Ocean. I don't wanna go with a publisher that only gives me five bucks. And it looks like we made a good game. It looks like we made a good game. Not the best or anything, but 63 points. We can work with that. We can develop some game updates on it. Uh, how much money do- Ooh, minus 334,000. <clears throat> we might have to wait for the first sales to come in. This was probably a bit more expensive than I thought it would be. But I'll take another loan because I really want to update the game. This is important to me that this keeps going. To push the sales. Hopefully this thing stays on the market very, very long. And we're gonna directly develop another game update. Just keep them coming. Banking crisis, 200% interest. Oh, I really don't need this right now. I really, 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 really don't need this right now. This is bad. Um, How much interest are we paying now? Now we're paying 44,000. Ugh. Worst. Absolutely worst. Can we do some contract work in the meantime? While we research. Yeah, build a prototype. Sounds good. You, you do that and over here. Maybe features or maybe research something else. Research others. Cars are still still a hot topic. I think I'm gonna go uh, develop some RPG. RPG is a cool genre. I wouldn't mind making one of those. And it looks like we're making some cash monies. Okay, one more update. One more update. Maybe a language update as well. Your employees are freezing, you should install more heaters. Fine, fine, before you all freeze to death, here's a heater. You can huddle around in the hallway around it. And then complain to your family how horrible of a work condition this is. This is what you're gonna do, isn't it? Isn't it? Of course it is. You know, I wouldn't mind developing a successor to something that already worked really, really well. What was it? Oh yeah, Painful Puzzle Panic 2. How about Painful Puzzle Panic 3? Painful Panic Part 3. Sounds good to me. We already know. Adults, puzzles. What would be a good subgenre? You know what? Let's not touch the subgenre for now. It's paintball. I'm gonna use our newest engine. Let's just hope we don't screw it up. I think we don't need to touch any of this. Oh, actually, yeah, we do. Hmm. I guess game buff is more important than anything. And we could look at game reports, the completed game reports. Where is it? Panic 2 was the best doing. Yeah. Core gamer. Yeah, that, that we screwed up. 15, 15, 20, 50. Okay. Good to know. 15, 15, 20, 15. Okay, we'll have to take another loan. It's worth it. In Paintball Puzzle Panic Part 3, we trust. So many p Sorry about that. Whenever I say its name, it's uh... creates this like popping sound in a microphone. Even though I have a pop killer. Pop killer. <laughs> Sorry. I cannot help myself. Okay, you do that while we... Uh, I guess improve gameplay over here. Let's do that. Performance and game balance sounds good. Is this still selling? Good. How much is it making? I don't know. Ooh, the universe! They use the puzzle engine. Uh, I forgot how much it makes. Roughly should be six times seven per month. So we're not going bankrupt just yet. But I guess we're going to repay some of the credit. Just a little bit. Just to reduce the financial stress on us. It's like we have a two million lo a loan. Yeah, keep, keep, you keep selling. We are also going to participate in a small booth, even though it's going to cost us a bit. But that brings up the hype. 30! 30, 30 hype on the game. That's exciting. 
Go ahead and remove the bugs. Do you want to publish it now? No, we're going to wait until the bugs are squashed, which is going to take forever. 100, 200 bucks. We, we definitely need a bigger QA department. And we should move as soon as we make some more. Uh, our income is higher. God, these guys, they are so bored and we're paying so much money per week. 160,000. I hope we can make this back. Come on, you schnitzer. 590,000 mate with the game. Time to release this fella. Publisher. Oh, yeah, who wants to publish this? It's a puzzle game. Who's hot on puzzle games? Nobody, so I might as well go with a good share. And can we beat the 77%? Looks like we barely beat it with <laughs> with 78, which is good. This is, this is fantastic. Time for some updates. This made us a lot of money, and I hope it will again. Can't afford that yet. Fine. Let's wait a second then. 35,000 in the first week. Good. Very good. This should bring us back from the brink. I'm going to repay the credits now. Even if we're going to have to take one again, at least we don't have to pay interest every single month. Over here we should keep researching some topics. Since they are going to be busy that way. Economic crisis! New contract work will appear. A global economic crisis has begun. No new contract work will appear in the future. That sucks. Not that we're doing too much of it. But yeah, that would be a problem if we relied on it. Luckily, we don't. Does it need... No, it doesn't need a language pack. It just needs more updates. There you go. 450,000. Repay everything. We might be able to actually repay most of our loan that way. Well, you keep researching. A new building would cost us 1.2 million, so I don't know if I can do this just yet. We might have to go for another game. Sports games are hot, and dragons. Dragons. Very good. Let's go ahead and research dragons then. Where are they? Somewhere under D. Dreams. Oh, we actually have dragons already. How about we research some genres then? That's going to be a topic eventually. Like building. Building games. You go ahead and research that. And we're going to develop another game update. Haha, <laughs> and we repaid all of our loan. That's exciting. Exciting times. Once they finished up their uh, art there, we're going to teach them a little bit. We're going to use the extra money we have to make our people better. 17,000 fans. We got 5,000 fans due to uh, automatically repeat training. Yay. Due to an award at the end of the year. Successfulness in the office. That makes us faster care too much. Let's go with game design, I guess. Sure. Let's just keep repeating those with as many people as possible. And over here, you keep researching topics. Good enough. Okay, looks like Scotty Rogers is already really good with game design, so we're gonna move someone over who's not as good. Like Gorius! Gorius isn't very good. Uh, gonna, gonna make sure that there's the be most benefit here and there. Looking good. Any any fantastic staffer in here that's ready to hire? Nope. None. I guess that's the best we can do. And let's go ahead and research the extra features. We're probably going to start uh, with a new engine and a size title soon. Maybe, maybe even here before we move into a bigger building. I wouldn't mind trying to do a, uh, a title. Which is bigger than B. Okay, that's researched. Yeah, do another one. Okay, you cancel, and instead you should do some programming. How about that? Some fans say paintball puzzle part three. Paintball puzzle panic part three was developed too much for casual gamers. Well, it sold well, so I'm happy. Oh, now all of a sudden we got 50% sale boost. I could have used that before. Well, I guess this is a good time to make a new game. Okay, this is going to cost us 250000 just to research that kind of thing. <sighs> Contract work. Might as well do some. Here, 82000 That's fine. Gives us some extra cash in the pocket while we wait for them to research this. We also have to make the engine. I totally forgot about that part where we have to improve our engine. The puzzle engine. Maybe it's time to remove all of these. This is how many pluses are these? We're at eight at this point. So let's put the it's a puzzle engine nine. That's for nine plus. Nine plus. Go. Features are include all the fancy new things like 8-bit music and the branching AI. 
Uh, we cannot remove other ones. So, here you go. Profit sharing, 22. Sell it for zero. Want people to join in the fun. Okay, fantastic, this is done. Uh, should we participate in a... Sure, let's participate with a small booth. Cost us 100,000, but 4,000 fans. That's always worth it. And maybe the game sells a little more? Yeah, not really. Not, not, not really. Okay, time to develop a new game. Time to go with a Dragon Sports game. However that's going to look like, I don't care. Dragons, where are you? Dragons. And sports and skill games, they fit very well together. I think we made a sport game before. <laughs> Dragon balls. Good, good enough. I'll go with it. Like football, just with dragons. I'm gonna set this to teenagers. And of course, with the super great engine, 780,000. Jesus Christ. So pricey. Oh well. Oh well. Might as well do it on all the cool platforms. Upelmuk. B plus. What does that maximum game size? Oh, you can't, we can't do this on them. Interesting. <clears throat> Katari. Amiku. Hmm. Game Joy. Game Joy can only do B+. I didn't know that we're blocked in like this. Let's not go for the super small platforms then. Sure, the Ziga Mega Station for 60,000. I'll go with that and I'll go with the Katari. Why not? More platforms, the more joy. Also, the more costs. 50,000. Fine. Okay, let's have a look at sports games. There, Gore Brawl. Perfect settings. That was good. Target audience was good. 30, 20, 30, 20. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. Copy settings. Do we, do we exactly copy this? Yes! That's fantastic. Saves us a lot of money. We're gonna go with five languages. We'll go ahead. And 11 out of 15 features. Good enough. Do this. This is so gonna break our neck. I already know it. This is... I'll, I'll try it anyways. Anyone awesome to hire right now? Doesn't look like it. Let's hope that training our people did the trick. Paintball Puzzle Panic Part 3 made 3.2 million. That's impressive. Well, if Dragon Balls can be nearly as good, we're gonna make a lot of money. Okay, I'm trying to remove bugs and finish development around the same time, so we don't have to sit around too long. There's no marketing at all for this game, which is probably a bad idea. But I'll roll with it. We need a bigger title or at least more income before we can move to a bigger building. It costs us 1.2 million to go to the next bigger one. And I don't have that cash just yet. Uh, publish it now? No, we got, we're gonna have to wait. Anyway, there's no hype at all. Triple fine is license engine. At least that's something. And it's not even the 90s yet. All the great things of the 90s are gonna come. Like this video if you're 90s kids kid or so. Do you want to publish the game now? Yes, I want to, please. Find a publisher. Anyone liking sports games? Yes. No, those are building games. Yep, nobody likes sports games. That's very surprising, but okay. Let's see. Ooh, yes, please. 70 something percent. Are we gonna hit 80? Are we gonna hit the magic 80? Yes, we are. We got a fun award. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means. But I guess because sounds are so good. It paid off, ladies and gentlemen. It paid off. It paid off. We're gonna wait a second. Um, let's hope it sells well. There's like no hype. Yeah, there you go. 30,000 in the first week. I'll take it. That should allow us to create an update. Even even if it's not a full one because it's 108,000. Yeah, I think we're gonna make our money back. We, we don't have to worry about that. Let's create some game reports. All the games we have. And more game updates. Damn it, I didn't win anything, but my fans like it, so that's that's important. Okay, language packs, that might be worth it. Only 25,000, that's that's not a whole lot. Absolutely worth doing that, I feel. Wow, 44,000, I think we're starting to sell more. If only our publisher would do a marketing campaign. I feel that would be necessary now. Game has been saved, hooray, and we make enough money to move to a different office. Hopefully soon. Okay, one more update. Three updates should do. Are we gonna have bigger sales thanks to the language pack update? Let's see. Not really. I feel this doesn't make a big difference after all. Or maybe it's because of where it is. 
Okay, Hammered Rage, that's nearly done. 60,000 from another developer. I'll take that. You know what? Screw it. One more update. Yay! And I think it's time that we are going to move to a bigger office. I think I think we earned that. We, we earned to go to an old office building. What is that? 238 tiles? For 1.2 million. Fine. Yes, for the old inventory I get 178,000, which I'll gladly take. And we're going to continue in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode of Mad Games Tycoon, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.